what's going on youtube before we go any further make sure you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button don't go any further till you hit that subscribe button to all the real ones that's ready subscribe i salute y'all let's go what's happening youtube another wild situation for you guys another wild story today we're going to talk about the youth man and the young life not just the young life either because there's some old heads out there that's you know do this do this type of stuff too man it's in regards to flashing firearms in music videos. It's in regards to uh, not just not being aware of your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? Catching cases. I'm talking about catching cases. That's what today's video is going to be about. And how technology is against us nowadays. Well, against those that are out there doing their thuggy. You know what I'm saying? If you're out there doing your thuggy, bro, I'm telling you right now, technology is your worst enemy. It's hard to get away with things, bro. It's hard. It's, it's getting harder and harder to be to be a criminal. And that's just being a honey. It's because of technology. It's not just social media. You know, you hear a lot of old heads get on here and talk about, oh, you know, social media this, social media that. Man, if y'all had social media back in your day, back in my day, right? Back, you always hear, back in my day. Fuck back in your day, nigga. How about that? No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Right, if y'all had social media back in your time, bro, y'all would have been y'all would have been probably doing the same shit. Y'all don't y'all didn't have uh, camera phones back then, so y'all can't say what you would have been doing or what you wouldn't done or what you guys didn't do. You can't compare it because you guys didn't have these luxuries or these. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It could be your worst enemy, like I said. But we're not here to bash the OGs, man. We're not here to bash the older homies and the old heads about how they. You feel me? Nah, that's not what this video is about. This video is specifically about technology, bro. You guys probably heard me say a couple times, you know, I got homies that done got locked up because of music videos got, and other things like that, bro. You know these cameras, homie? These cameras on these street corners, on these street lights, bro, They can, you got to be aware of your surroundings, bro. These cameras can zoom in all the way into your car. And if, like, bro, they can zoom in so good and so clear. If you're smoking a cigarette in your car, they can zoom in on your cigarette and tell you what type of cigarette you're smoking, bro. That's how good these cameras is, my nigga. You got to be smooth, bro. Not only that, look, bro. Like with the homies that got caught up for, uh, I don't care if you put a motherfucking all these guns in the video or props in the beginning of your music video. That don't mean shit in court, homie. That, that don't, bro, look. Let me tell you a situation, a, a wild story, another wild story, right? Peep game. The homies had a music video. They had the guns in it, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly. They had these things in you feel me? And in the beginning of the music video, they put resemblance to any actual firearms are just props and used for entertainment purposes and shit like that, right? They put that in the beginning of the music video. Disclaimer, all the shit. That damn mean nothing, nigga. Let me tell you what these police did, bro. They're zooming in on your music video, and they're getting that serial number, homie. You know what they're doing? They're keeping that serial number in logs. You feel me? They're keeping it in a file. So when that gun gets picked up, say it's used in a crime, that gun gets picked up. They get that serial number from that gun. They match it to the serial number that's used in your video, your, that gun that's in your video. Boom. You're holding the gun. That gun that you're holding in your music video from a year ago, a year ago, was just used in a homicide, homie. Guess who they gonna pick up for that homicide, my nigga? Yeah, you, you. I'm telling you, bro. Don't be flashing your guns. You guys gotta be smart. Even in like, yeah, you know I'm saying, homies be on um, not just you feel me, anybody be on Instagram live showing their pistols like real quick. You know, how motherfuckers get on live or YouTube Instagram story and show their pistol real quick. That little you feel me, little wave of your gun to the camera. They're gonna screw. They're gonna pause that camera, and they're gonna zoom in. On where they can find the serial number. And they're going to they're gonna save that serial number, homie, until they find that gun and link it to a crime. And then they're going to link you back to that gun. Shred to God, homie. I've seen it happen in real life, bro. They got the homie like that. The homie didn't even do the shit, bro. But since he was holding the gun in the music video, the gun was used in the crime. It was, found at the, it was left at a crime scene. At a shootout. Somebody left it. Dumbass nigga left it. He dropped it, actually. While he was running. He got away. He had gloves on and everything. He happened to drop the gun. Cops got the gun. 
ran the serial number. That same serial number came up on an old music video the homie did about a year and a half ago. Who they go pick up? The homie that was at his house chilling. Didn't know nothing about nothing. Come on, nigga, you going down for attempted. Sit down, you going to fight this. The homie took a deal, 15 years. They have nothing to do with nothing, bro. Nothing. Free my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, bro, you guys got to be smooth with these, with showing these guns and shit. And look, man, another situation. Free my brother. Um, These ring doorbells, bro. Man, someone real close to me, bro, that got a uh, that caught a case because of a ring doorbell. Blam some shit, allegedly. Right? Ah, 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 ah. Got rid of him. Thought he was smooth. No street cameras, right? In this in this little um, residential neighborhood. No, no, nothing. You feel me? Nigga, he got caught because of a, the neighbors across the street had a ring doorbell, bro. You know how the cops go around, knock door to door, ask witness, ask the neighbors if they seen anything, heard anything. Cops recognize this person had a ring doorbell. They got the subpoena, nigga. They got ring to get all the footage. That nigga doing life, my nigga. Over a fuck because it, because of technology, nigga. Because of a ring doorbell. If that ring doorbell wasn't there, bro, that nigga would have been scot free. Got would have got would have got away with everything, my nigga. You know I'm not glorifying the lifestyle, but I'm just saying, nigga, this this is just the life of a gang member. You know what I'm saying? The life of a, a criminal, and I'm and that's why I'm telling y'all, bro. It's it's getting harder and harder for niggas to get away with shit. So unless you niggas want to go sit down and do life, nigga, with the rest of these niggas, bro, you niggas gotta be smoother, think smarter, my nigga, for real. Look around, like, bro, ev like ever since that happened to my nigga, man. I, no matter where I'm at, I'm looking for a ring doorbells. It's just like in the back of my mind, I'm always looking for ring doorbells. If we post it up in front of the homies' house, the homies got the blammies on them. Yeah, we could be cool, chilling right here, right? Somebody come by, nigga, we get into some shit. Nigga, that nigga, that neighbor across the street got a ring doorbell. We right across the street from his house. He capturing the whole thing. Yeah, it might be self-defense, but we still going to go sit down for this shit. Why? Because the cops is going to subpoena ring. They're going to get the footage from ring, bro. They're going to see some niggas drive by, shoot at us. We pull out things and ah, 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 back. We still got to go to jail, nigga, even though we got shot at first. You feel me? That's why you guys got to be aware of your surroundings, bro. Be aware of these cameras. They everywhere. Social media, the cops is really watching. They taking down these serial numbers, homie, from your your Instagram story, your Instagram live. You think your profile is public? Not, I mean, you think your profile is uh, uh is private, nigga? They getting into that. They using fake pages and all the shit, bro. And you adding them. You real proving them, thinking they a fan, cause you a music artist, you a rapper or something, nigga. That's the police, bro. All the guns you showing in your music video, on your Instagram live, on your Instagram story, on your Snapchat, nigga, they they scream, they nigga, they getting that serial number from that gun, bro, and they logging it down, they file putting it in their files, and when the case comes up, they're gonna come arrest, they're gonna come arrest you, bro. So be smooth, think smarter, free my guys, free the squad, free the thugs, man, out that motherfucking box, you feel me? Real niggas sitting down for doing real shit. And got caught up because of technology, man. Like I said, I'm not glorifying the lifestyle, but this is the shit real niggas do in these streets, man. You feel me? Like I said, free to kill us. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. It's the kid and I'm going. Y'all got to be smooth and think smarter. That's the message of the day. Think smarter. Be smooth.